Hi there, crafty friends. Joanna here. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So I shared with you that my neighbor is having triplets. So the first quilt is our baby honeybee, which I will put that at the end of this video. And I did a short showing you all the fabrics for the new theme for triplet number two, which is under the sea. So I will put that at the end as well. So this way you can see all the fabrics in their entirety, not chopped up. It's only like 40 seconds. So um, go ahead and check that out. But before we get started on the um, update for the quilt, I just want to share with you a little practice that I like to do. Uh, I guess you can call me a sewing nerd or maybe um, I just don't like to have a lot of scraps build up. I don't put them in bins. You guys already know that about me basically through all our scrappy videos. So usually what I do when I'm making any type of quilt is I use these little lunch trays and all my little itty bitty pieces or any, you know, strips or whatever, I keep them in here and I actually, as this fills up, I actually start making scrap blocks as I'm making the quilt. So this way we're, you know, we are not, um, Lisa and I are not overrun with scraps. So um, this is really nothing yet, but you know, you build on it and then make bigger blocks. But that's just a little something that I like to do. Uh, I don't, I, it just bothers me to have fabric all over the place. Why not, while I'm at my sewing machine making the quilt, why not just use up the scraps and make a block, right? Well, it depends on your time constraint also. But um, yeah, that's what I like to do. Okay, so update on the Under the Sea quilt number two for baby number two. So what I am doing here is, I mean, I'm not a um, um, quilt planner. I don't do patterns. I don't buy patterns. I just kind of make my own stuff. So um, with these here, with these pieces here, I made three blocks. I created a little window around each individual block and then a outer window let me share with you even better here an outer window I'll get this out of the way so kind of like you're looking into a um, glass so you're looking like through an aquarium you know so you have you're looking through and these are the little creatures that you're seeing right um, I did that for this one. This one looks a little busy. This is the first one I did. So I actually double framed on this side here. And um, I forgot to put the bottom piece down here. But we are not going to be going over. So I was able to make four panels with the three blocks. And um, like I said, I did not plan any of this. I just thought it would be kind of cute to have it look like you're looking into an aquarium kind of fun. This part right here I have to fix. This is what happens right here when you're hangry. See how that doesn't match up? So I'm going to, I just put this here to remind myself to go ahead and pick that out. So remember to stop and eat. That's a note. Okay, so I was able to, the next step is I, is, um, I made smaller, um, smaller blocks and framed them out. So just um, a whole bunch of different ones, highlighting the different animals, the different sea creatures. And how fun is that, right? So I'm still working on these guys here. So the third step for I made the, the long blocks and then I decided, well, I'm going to take the pieces these pieces here and then just build out um, and just add some the two blocks offsetting each other with some you know not as busy fabric patterns here on this side on the side so that's what I was going to do with that like with um, <clears throat> excuse me these guys like I'll do this here and then to offset, I'll put a piece here that coordinates and then just kind of build 
from there. So that is my plan for this quilt. So this is what we are going to do. I do have to press them again and then um, straighten them out because they're a little wonky right now So because I just put them together. So um, yeah, how cute is that? So I will put the video at the end for the fabric so you can see them their entirety. These are so adorable. And the honeybee quilt I will put at the end so you guys could see that. But I just wanted to share with you a little update. Again, this is this was in my head. Like I think of these things when I am on the treadmill or in the shower. And I just thought that this would be kind of fun to do. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Um, give a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think because feedback is really important. I love to hear what you guys say. We, Lisa and I, read all the comments. So... Um, just let us know what you think, and um, I will keep you posted as we plug along on this. So have a great day, and thank you so much.